Hi guys, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So today I'm going to do a mini review on the movie The Inhabitants. So I want to be brutally honest with you guys, this one was actually sent to me by the filmmakers before the film came out and they wanted me to do a review on it. These are all my own opinions, I didn't get paid, my gosh, I wish. And so I don't owe them anything and this is what I think and I just wanted you guys to know that that happened. It was actually quite exciting for me. So this movie was made on a shoestring budget and it was released digitally online on the 13th of October. If you've seen my The Badger Game video where I review The Badger Game, um, I love that movie and it was also done on a really low budget. I do not discriminate with horror. I like high budgets, I like low budgets, I like no budgets. I'll watch anything as long as it has a good storyline. This one, I did like aspects of it and I did think it was exciting in parts but to be completely honest there were parts that lacked and it was a little bit disjointed. So this film is set in New England in America where the Salem Witch Trials took place and a younger couple are in search of a house. They find one that they think is perfect for them but it comes along with an old creepy lady giving them a little finger wave and telling them that they don't know what's in store for them. From there it turns into a whole mystery unveiling about what happened in the house before and it has a lot to do with the Salem Witch Trials which I think is really interesting. I'm really into witches and all that kind of stuff. It's hard to tell you what happens in this movie because it is very disjointed but it is a lot about the Salem Witch Trials and then things that people think about witches and then kind of possession in a way. So the woman kind of gets herself in too deep but there is things that happen that I'm not sure why they're happening throughout the movie. There's these kids who are standing on their block and they seem to be like troublemakers but they're kind of just put there to be killed off. No other reason. Things like that kept happening in the film that were a little bit disjointed and didn't really make any sense to me. The cool things I did like about the film was I thought the lead actress was a really good actress um, especially for a low budget horror movie. It's really really hard to make something of that production quality look specky and not look too cheesy. This could be down to the writing as well. The writing was quite good. I really like the dialogue I also really like the facts they went into about witches and things that witches have that I didn't know. I don't know if how true they are and how speculated or whatever they are, but I thought it was interesting. Also what I thought was interesting was the setting. It was actually set in the house owned by the uncle of Abigail Williams, which is, you know, a really important person from the Salem Witch Trials. If you guys ever read The Crucible or had to do The Plain School, I had to do The Plain School, I was the stage manager, oh my god. If you're into witches and you're into like the whole history behind it, it's really cool to look at it from that aspect, but at the same time it doesn't really have any truth to it, there's no um, facts anywhere in this movie and yeah, you know, it would have been nice if they could have rolled that into it since they went to so much trouble to having their same house and the same setting. They really set it up to be a witch trial when there wasn't really much witches in it and witches don't really do possession from what I know, but I mean I can be completely wrong and it's all up into your interpretation. Uh, one thing really good about this movie is the jump scares. It is scary at parts. I watch with my headphones and I kind of ah, at some points. They do do very well with the jump scares and I think has a lot to do with the um, sound design. The sound design was on point at parts. Sometimes a little bit overdone, but mostly it was spot on for scares. Overall, I'm gonna give it a personal score of five, quite average for me. Uh, originality score of six, because yeah, it was quite original and scare score of five. If you think you might be into this movie, check it out and let me know what you think and I'll see you guys later. Stay spooky, bye.